In the unconstrained minimization problem, the wolf conditions are a set of inequalities for performing in exact line search, especially in quasi-Newton methods, first published by Philip Wolf in 1969. In these methods the idea is to find for some smooth. Each step often involves approximately solving the subproblem whereas the current best guess is a search direction and is the step length. The inexact line searches provide an efficient way of computing an acceptable step length that reduces the objective function sufficiently, rather than minimizing the objective function over exactly. A line search algorithm can use wolf conditions as a requirement for any guess before finding a new search direction. Our Miho rule and curvature. A step length is said to satisfy the wolf conditions, restricted to the direction, if the following two inequalities hold, i.e., with. Recall that to ensure that is a descent direction. We have, is usually chosen to be quite small while is much larger. Nosedal gives example values of M for Newton or quasi-Newton methods and for the nonlinear conjugate gradient method. Inequality I is known as the Armiho rule and E as the curvature condition I ensures that the step length decreases sufficiently and D ensures that the slope has been reduced sufficiently. Strong wolf condition on curvature denote a univariate function restricted to the direction as the wolf conditions can result in a value for the step length that is not close to a minimizer of if we modify the curvature condition to the following i then i and i together form the so-called strong wolf conditions and forced to lie close to a critical point of rationale. The principal reason for imposing the wolf conditions in an optimization algorithm were is to ensure convergence of the gradient to zero. In particular, if the cosine of the angle between and the gradient is bounded away from zero and the I and E conditions hold, then an additional motivation in the case of a quasi-Newton method is that if where the matrix is updated by the BFGS or DFP formula, then if is positive definite E implies is also positive definite.